For this next tutorial, we're going to take a bitmapped graphic image and get it to move around the screen using the mouse. To begin with, I'm going to take a look and section 12.3 has an example image that I'm going to use, a simple red X, and I need to save this image. So I'm going to right click on the image and then do save image as. This is very similar to what we just did in the prior tutorial with the background image. I save the image and in this case I've already got it selected but I'm using the chapter 12 project folder. You want to make sure that you save the image in the folder that has your main program. Otherwise the program won't be able to find the image. I'm going to go ahead and keep the player name, click save, and my image is saved. I'm going to close this, close out of my browser, and then I'm going to take a look at my folder and I can see that I've got the player image right here along with the background image and program from my prior tutorial. I'm going to go back to the program and then inside of this program up where we loaded the image from before I'm going to take that same line right below it and I'm going to load the player image. I'm going to call this player image. This is my variable name. You can call it any legal variable name that you haven't used yet and I'm going to use pygame.image.load Note that I'm doing this before my main program loop and that way it'll only load once not 20 times per second. Loading images very easy to do just like we did before in the prior tutorial and the image here is in the same folder as my program chapter 12 PY and I can even see right up here in the title line it says desktop chapter 12 project chapter 12 PY. I've got all the folders set the way that I want them. Next after I've drawn the background image I'm going to draw the player image that I loaded but I want to draw it where my mouse is. To do that I need to get the mouse position and I can do so with the following. I'm creating a brand new variable called player position. I'm going to set it equal to the pygame mouse get position command. This function returns both the X and Y location of the mouse. And in fact, if I were to print that, and run the program. As I move the mouse around, over on the left hand side it's showing both the X and the Y coordinate of where the mouse is. If I move the mouse outside the box it does not continue to keep reading the coordinates but just simply keeps giving me the last coordinate that my mouse was at. I'm going to use these coordinates to figure out where to draw my item. Okay, I no longer need to print the player position, but I do need to get both the X and Y location out of that. I'm being given a list of two numbers, an X and Y coordinate. To put that in just one variable, I need to grab out the first and the second item in the list. If you've got a list, remember you can get individual items out of the list using square brackets, and then do you want the first, second, or third item? And lists start counting at zero. Therefore, to get the X location, I'm going to get player position spot zero, which will pull this first number out, and then the Y, I'm going to get the second position, which of course is numbered position one. Then I'm going to draw this on the screen, using the screen dot blit just like I did before with the background image except this time I'm going to print the player image and I'm going to print it at the XY coordinate that I just pulled out. Now if I go ahead and run this I can see as I move my mouse around I've got that image following the mouse. Now this isn't exactly perfect you can see I've still got the mouse cursor there. If that mouse cursor 
the little arrow gets in the way of what you want to see, we can actually make that disappear. To get the mouse arrow to disappear while I've got the mouse over my image, I'm going to use the following command, pygame.mouse.set visible and set it to false. Now when I run the program, whoops, looks like we got an error. False is not defined and in Python, false begins with a capital F. Pygame.mouse.set visible false. I run it. And now the mouse does not show up, but I can still move the image around. This is kind of neat, but I don't really want this white background going on. How do I get rid of this white background and only see the X? Well, that also is pretty easy. All you need to do is right after you load the player image, you need to tell the computer what color to make transparent. And we do that by setting the color key. In this case, I'm going to set the color key to white. And if you remember, I have white defined up here as 255, 255, 255. Then if I set the color key to white and go back and run my program again, the X appears, but the white becomes transparent and no longer appears on the screen. That allows me to have objects that aren't shaped as a square and a rectangle appear on my screen the way I want them to. If you're creating an image that's going to have a transparent background, the type of image you select is going to be very important. If I go over here to Google and search on something like cartoon cats, I take a look at the cartoon cats that show up and I like this one. I want to use this particular cat. I select it and I'm going to have two issues with this particular cartoon cat once I find it here. There we go. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save this image as cartoon cat. I'm just going to call it cat. Now my cat, when I save it, I can go ahead and look at my desktop. It has two issues with it. First off, it's very large, so when I display it, I'm going to see a very large cat because I can't resize it unless I use a separate graphics program. And it's a JPEG. And we'll see here in a little bit why a JPEG is bad. Okay, I go over here to my program, and instead of loading player.png, I'm going to load cat.jpg. Save it, run it. Now, not only is my cat large, but my cat also has a lot of extra white oddities that go around it. The issue is that with a file format like JPEG, it doesn't save the file exactly the way it is. It actually changes the file somewhat in order to make the file smaller. JPEGs are nice, small files. However, because the image is slightly changed, this white that is near the ears isn't a straight 255, 255, 255 white color. It might be something like 250, 250, 250. That's not the color that we selected to be transparent, and the image just quite frankly looks terrible. If I go ahead and load this up in a graphics program and save it as a PNG, the image has already changed. The cat, so to speak, is already out of the bag, and I'm always going to have this issue. There's no easy way of getting rid of it aside from going into a drawing program and manually removing and redrawing all this white, which I don't really recommend. Therefore, when you search for images, you want to make sure you search for PNGs and GIFs, PNGs and GIFs, because these images won't lose quality and you shouldn't have an issue with those strange white oddities going around the program. And it's not really that hard to do. If you go back here to the image search page, you can click on images, you'll only get cat images, and you can go to the options. Over here on the right, there's a little gear icon. Hit options, hit advanced search, and then underneath this you can select that you want PNG images and it will only return you PNG images. You don't have to worry about having those JPEGs. Furthermore, you can actually look and see that you 
want only like medium sized or icon sized images. I'm going to search for medium images. And at this point, I'm getting all sorts of cat images that I can use that are PNGs and eh, 400 by 400. That's still a little bit large. I want to select a smaller one. Let's select icon size. Now I'm getting a lot smaller images. This is 128 by 128. I'm going to click on it, right click, save image as, and then I'm going to go and save. Here's a cat PNG. Close this. Go back to my program. I don't want cat JPEG. I want cat PNG. Save it. Run my program. And there we go. I've got a scary cat image, but my background's tra not transparent. Why? Well, if you take a look at this image, what color is the background color? Looks like black, but I'm setting white to be transparent. All I need to do is go in here and change white to black, and then run it. And in this case, I've now got a transparent cat, although I see it looks like one of the cat's legs is black enough that it just kind of disappeared. But that's how you go find images and make them part of your game. I would also highly recommend taking a look at a website called opengameart.org. This particular site has a lot of game art that you can use and not have to pay for. It's open game art. If you just take images from the internet, sometimes those images have copyrights to them that can get you into trouble and are just plain unethically. It's not a good idea to steal somebody else's work. In this case, you've got artists who are allowing you to use their work for your particular games. Check it out, opengameart.org, great place to find art to use in your games.